I like to welcome you guys. Let me just share the screen now so that we can begin. So okay. okay, we are about to begin. Just want to share the screen then. We start with the little discussion yarn. Okay, I don't know if the slide show is showing on you. Someone can just alert me, please, if it is showing. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, thank you very much. So yeah, uh, welcome to this uh, little coffee chat. We will be discussing business, the matters of business. This is our third coffee chat since we began with them and we'll be doing them every uh, first day for as much as we can, discussing few topics according to our own knowledge. So you can take a little bit of some notes and then at the end, you will be commenting. And then if you have any further information to give us, we'll do that. And also you will be asking questions if you have any, based on what we'll be discussing just now. Now, um, let me just check, okay. So this is brought to you by hashtag by first clothing. And it is in collaboration with TG marketing, which is dealing with the website designs and so forth, advertisements, and so forth. In this one, the presenters, first one is me, uh, Brendan Mokalapa, and that's me there, took an old picture. Then the second one, he's not yet in. Hopefully that it will be in by the time that he should supposed to present. And that is Tuarello. And then we will check last week what we discussed. We were speaking about the structure of a business. We we're discussing that a business should be, a, a business is having, a, it is categorized into a small business and a there is also a big business and the difference between them, what we discussed is that a small business cannot continue operating in the absence of the owner. And a small business also can, and can sometimes need financial, um, it can need finances from the owner's pocket. For example, the quarter shop, there are small businesses. Once the owner leaves, a business will also die. Then as for big business, it can function at the absence of the owner, someone who started it. So for example, a Apple, uh, the guy who started it is not here. Steve Jobs is not here to proceed with it, but it is still happening, still going further as it's supposed to be going. And also a big business, one characteristic of it is that it really needs financial uh, help from the owner's pocket. So the owner, sometimes a small business, the owner will have to get to the pocket for him to resurrect the business. But with the big business, there's no much need. It, it is very rare. The minute it happens, like we saw with the, is it S A S A S A S A not S A S A S A needed some finances, but there's no one who can say the owner of A S A. So it needed some finances from the government. So that was one of the reasons. Um, 
then today we are just discussing the marketing and the advertising so you can stop me in the middle of the chat anytime if you have a question but i'll try to move fast so that the questions and comment section will be utilized probably so i mean uh, effectively so so looking at the marketing uh, it's a verb when you're speaking about the marketing it's a verb so it's a doing it you have to do something it is involved with, with the english uh, with the action so in my own terms i define marketing as the action of promoting and selling so it's an act you are acting so what are you acting upon you are promoting your services and then you are selling your services because a business is all about an exchange we discussed in the first session the first co coffee shed that um, a business is about an exchange so i give you something you give me something that's business and then another thing about marketing is that without it there is no business if your business has no marketing Imagine if you, you were not promoting your staff and then you were not selling. A business that does not sell is not a business because there's no exchange. So it loses the definition of business. Hence, it is not business at all. And then looking further at the marketing is the, it's like blood system of any business. So it keeps the business alive and it keeps it growing. So for the business to keep alive, it needs marketing. The marketing is an ongoing assessment or an ongoing uh, activity so even now as we are speaking coca-cola is still doing marketing because once it stops uh, its blood system will shut down and it can shut down anytime and then going further about marketing this is the marketing plan so if you want to do that marketing here's the plan the first thing you have a mission so the mission is where you, you are saying uh, this is the purpose of this company or this is why we started this company then from there you go to the situation analysis where you are uh, analyzing it, like how is the situation for example if i'm selling clothes i will check the situation to say how are people reacting i cannot sell winter clothes in summer and expect to get big big buyings i cannot sell uh, summer clothes in winter and expect to get a lot of a uh, commission no i'll get a little so i must do the situation analysis and in shop right i mean in, in things like pep a uh, studio 88 and so forth when you go there in winter you find winter clothes if you go there in summer you find summer clothes the winter clothes are there in summer but they're very little so their marketing analysis are based on the weather and so forth things like that and then when you're doing that analysis, you check the internal factors and the external factors. So the internal factors, we are dealing with things like the strengths and the weaknesses of the business. Uh, where is it? Where, where is its uh, strength? Maybe it can be security if it's a big business. If it's a small business, uh, the strength can be, I mean, the weakness can be that uh, in the family, some people are taking the money. So when you're not there, let's say you're selling quarters, they, they, when you go out, they make their own quarters, they eat without paying. So that those are the weaknesses of the internal factors of a situation analysis of a marketing. So the external factors you can speak about, you are looking at how, like things like crime. So someone can come and steal your container that is selling quarters. So how will you uh, actually overcome such a, a situation? So in doing that, you are preparing for anything that will come in the future. Then from whatever that you'll be having, the weaknesses, the strength, opportunities, and threats, you go to the corporate uh, strategy where you're going to speak about how do I overcome whatever that is coming my way. From the strategies, it's where the strategy alone, it's where we are dealing with these four things, which is the place, the price, the product, and the promotion. Then at the end, you, you implement and evaluate. So looking at the marketing uh, target, uh, the price you don't just sell by any price you don't just sell by any price you can if you check uh, i'll give an example of bentley uh, the car that is called bentley if you check it they don't do advertisement on etv and so forth what they and their prices are not the same as bmw and the other things so what is happening they, they have done their marketing 
uh, strategy. They know they are, they are taking market. So what they're doing is that they put a price knowing what kind of people they are. Uh, Fesile, can you please uh, mute the mic? Thank you. Well, so with the... Okay, I thought she did. Fesile, can you please mute the mic? Thank you. Okay, so looking at the price, uh, I have just given an example with the Bentley. So it doesn't sell its cars by 100,000 or so forth. It sells with higher prices and it doesn't uh, advertise to the smaller people here. It advertises to the people it knows that those people are capable of buying. So that is what it is the place. So the place is you have to do an, an, an experiment or a research on it. If you're going to sell things like quarters for a small business, I cannot just move and go to a bar <laughs> and say I'm going to sell quarters there. Maybe I can go to school, I can go to the street corners there, I can go somewhere, but there's a specific place where you should be. And the promotion is to let people know about it. So how do you let people know about it? With the promotion, it's where I can say uh, some cars like BMW, if I'm not mistaken, it has people, it gives its new cars. So those people are working for BMW, they will be driving the new cars. They call them car agents. So the person, if there's BMW i8 that is, has just gone out, BMW will give one person that car who will be rolling around the street. It will cover the fuel and so forth. So that is promotion. People will start seeing it, loving it. They will go to the shop and look for it. Then also the product. As a businessman, you should know what kind of product are you going to sell to the people. You can't just sell anything. To a wrong place so all these four they go hand in hand and if one falls your marketing uh, didn't go as proper as it was supposed to go like and then now we are checking the marketing journey like when you're moving through the marketing how do you move through so moving through i have this uh, eight steps well actually there are six steps but uh, uh, the first one we're saying marketing is all based on research so and that research should be guided research. So you should be researching on how you're going to move, where you're going to move, what price are you going to sell by, what products do you have to sell, which is the marketing target and so forth, which we discussed in the previous slide. Then the second one, in your research, you should include these six things, which is the marketplace. So if you're researching, you want to sell anything, you have to look at the proper place for selling it. If the place is not proper, your business will not function well. And some people, hence I said, you must include guided research. You can research a place and think it is good according to your findings, but when you get there, you find that it's bad. And then the second thing, you must check the product suitability. If I'm going to sell something to the, let's say, to adults in university, I cannot sell a low quality because most of them, they want high quality. For example, I can't take what I sell at school, in high school, and sell it in primary, or what I'm selling in primary, sell it in high school, or what I'm selling in high school to sell it in university. Why? Because the places are different, and then the product suitability also will be different. If you sell too much quality to, uh, let's say, grade five learners, they don't have much money to buy those things because quality is expensive. So those are the things that you have to check when you're doing your marketing. And then another thing, you have to check the factors. The factors that are involved, which is the internal factors, external factors. And then in your check, in the checking the factors, you don't, you don't become negative. You must have no negativity, but not, do not ignore the factors. Because sometimes uh, if I want to start perhaps a quarter, I like the quarter one because I've seen many of them in Kasi. Almost every street there is a quarter shop. So if you want to start a quarter shop, uh, someone can say now uh, there are many quarters here so you cannot sell here that is, sounds like negativity but it's a fact so you shouldn't ignore it so don't become negative but don't ignore the factors because once you ignore them it's like you are totally positive on the wrong side because <laughs> you will think that you can go and sell perhaps cars to uh, primary students they can't wait 
or we, we are planning to go and sell things like uh, sweets uh, to to a meeting to a meeting with the presidents and so forth uh, it can work so uh, the fourth thing we have to look at is the strategy so after looking at the factors then you get a strategy to say how will i get to do whatever that i'm doing and the strategy include the price how much you're going to sell your product reflecting from the factors the place and the suitability of the product you can sell a, a quality product with a less money you can sell a low quality product with high money because if you're expensive and it is low quality after three months it's messed up people will run away from you so you are, you are, you are what you're doing is kind of a branding so you're trying to build a brand where people will actually love you for example if i want to buy coca-cola i bring a uh, kingsley here i bring coca-cola here most people will pre, will pre will actually want the coca-cola why because it has done branding uh, it has quality so and so forth i'm not saying kingsley doesn't have quality but its branding is still coming through and you have to get the method of selling things like transportation if your quota system will need a transportation you have to include it in the plan and for a small business i told you last week that you don't need to include the blend down you can just have it in the mind because you are the owner and you are there but if you're a big business you have to jot it down so that if any another ceo will come will find the stuff already written then you check the sales the sales is where you check the prices you go further now and uh, on your sales you have to cover things like the costs Okay, those who have done accounting will actually agree with me for you to sell something you must get the cost every other expense that is involved transportation it can be rent it can be the buying of material and so forth every other cost then add some more so that you can get some profit so that the company can grow then the eighth thing i mean the sixth thing is the publicity and the advertising so whatever that you're going to sell whatever that you have strategized upon whatever that you've thought the factors on the product the marketplace are going to sell in so you must actually be doing advertising and advertising also you must look at the proper place because you can't do an advertisement just anywhere there are places where you can do your advertising so now we look at the advertising itself uh, hopefully the note doesn't disappoint me okay so we look at the advertising just a little bit i'm almost done more than halfway so advertising is a way to showcase your services that is my little definition there you are showcasing it like you're showing people you say this is what i have and on tv if it's is it nivea you see someone putting it on the face and then they look good after that so that is showcasing you're showing people if it's bmw they show you they will show it running very fast people are chasing it but it is running it, it is out running there so all that is advertising sometimes you just give someone the bmw is explained and they, they are moving around that is part of advertising and then advertising also it's a way to let those who did not know to know so if there's someone who did not know let's say there's a new car maybe we can say we can call it a two square so if there's a car that is called two square for that person to let people know who don't know they must do advertisement and then advertisement also helps with keeping those who know to like the stuff so you can know about something but not like it so it is an advertisement which will push you to like it and then advertising also keeps those who like to come and buy so you can like something but not buy it maybe because you don't afford it or because you don't love it as much you like it but you don't love it so you can like something and not buy it but advertisement you strategize in a point where someone will come and buy then the last thing on advertisement you want to keep those who buy to keep coming so if someone comes and buys whatever that you are selling your product that you have done research on and you are selling it uh, you want people to keep on buying to come and buy more as more often as possible because uh, you just want to keep your company going forward. Uh, then just last on the advertising, what should happen is that 
Okay, the advertising is done in two ways. So there's a physical advertisement and a, is a digital advertisement. Mm. So the digital is the non-physical. Uh, so the physical, it includes shirts, where like the one I'm wearing here. Well, this is a clothing brand. So maybe let's say pants. It doesn't sell shirts at first, but it will produce some few shirts so that it can do some advertisement. So people can see the pants in the shirts and then also giving away of services for free. Maybe you can apply for people, uh, they will get to know, then you tell them at the end of the application, you say, uh, you were helped by this, or you go to schools, motivate children and so forth, or you do give your stuff for free. I remember Coca-Cola in the 2018, somewhere there, it used to go to schools and give learners some Coke. So that was proper marketing. It was a serious advertisement. They calculated the cost very properly to a point where they knew if five people know about this and you give them for free, they will tell other more five and so forth. They will come to 25, they will come and buy and cover the cost. And then the marketing, prom uh, making promotion on prices and then on, also word of mouth, that is the physical ad uh, advertisement. So promotion on prices is where perhaps you can say we are, we are selling uh, two quarters for 20 rand, one is for 15 rand. So someone will say, wow, two for, for 20 rand. I have to buy those two. So they are buying more products from you. And they will start telling other people, which is the word of mouth, mm -hmm. then giving quality services. That is also the best, uh, I mean, advertisement mm -hmm. or advertising is the best because if you give a uh, low quality stuff, people, the word of mouth will mess you up. So the next time someone wants to buy, they will say, no, no, that one is not original. <laughs> they will mess up. So also ambassadors, most brands and whatever that is so forth, the businesses, if you are trying to move it from small business to a big business, you must have ambassadors who will be representing. Those are the representatives of your business. So wherever they go, they represent your business on social media, which is the digital there. Right? and physically so forth if someone wants to ask about the business the brand ambassador comes explain the business physically also you must have the connections where you're going to know in what place am i going to be suitable in and then i will know people there if i just leave them with few stuff they can become my ghost ambassadors telling the people about me the word of mouth so the connections help and they say Qualification doesn't matter, connection matter. Well, sometimes qualification will matter, but connections always. Uh, so digitally, we know social media. Keep on posting the stuff uh, on your, can be Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, whatever and so forth. Someone will see, they like it, they will call you and then you give them quality. Then also on the websites, uh, sometimes we trust a business that is having a website because we think it is legit. If I want to see there's a company called hashtag by force, I will search it on Google. I don't find it. I don't trust it. If I search it on Google, I find it. I trust it. That is the website is part of advertisement. Then good footprint, it's social media. You must leave some good foot footprint there. If you start swearing people and so forth, some people will run away and say, this is not good. It's not a good brand. <laughs> and another thing, you must present the solutions in your posts, if you are doing social media. Perhaps you are speaking in winter, you say, it will be very cold this weekend. Here's a solution, grab a jacket for yourself. So people will actually fall for that because advertisement is to, it's not to deceive as such, but to call people to come and like whatever that you are providing. So I think that was, okay. The, the, the last one is the future they loved. So if you are posting something on Google, I mean on Facebook, for example, you take someone who is famous, people who will be watching that person actually will say, okay, this person is taking this one, let us see it. So more people will start to like it. So the last thing, this is my last slide, then we'll go to questions and answers. There will be any questions. Um, what if there was no marketing? like and there was no advertisement like how will it be think about it so i have only two questions or two statements to make so 
for marketing, look at a car without a fuel or a person without a blood system. For those who are doing science, will relate. But think about a car that has no fuel. It cannot move. It will exist, but it will not live. So marketing brings life to a business. For it to proceed, living a proper or going further, it will need the marketing. And then think about a person without a face for, market, for advertisement, because the face you bring, it is what you people will look at. When you are coming, people look at your face, they will already know this is branded. So imagine if I had no face, people will not know. You see, <laughs> people will not know at all. They will be asking, who is this? So advertising is needed for such purposes. So we do go to comments, questions and answers. So the floor is open for anyone who would like to come and comment or raise a question. Anyone? Okay, I guess we are all clear. So are we all clear? Are we all sorted? Can I hear a yes or a no? So, um, be okay, like it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, we are here, we are here. <laughs> great stuff, great stuff. So, be okay, <laughs> I, I think you had, you had something, you can, you have less than five minutes to share anything that you wanted to share with us. Okay, hello, guys. Yeah. Greetings, greetings. Can you hear me? Yes, we can oh. hear you properly, so. Okay, so um, oh. regarding uh, with those marketing and other stuff, you know, the problem that uh, with the with the target that we miss uh, or the businesses that they miss, yeah? mm. uh, we are facing a huge problem. As as we come, oh, as for me, I work on a warehouse where we supply builders, Chamberlain, Ireland, of you know, mm. and we ha we have those hardwares. Those are unregistered, you know. Mm. And remember, those unregistered hardware's it's where the money is. So as we face that problem, so the problem is that we can't supply those hardware's that they don't have uh, register or they don't have tax numbers or VAT numbers, you know. So mm. the, the thing is that the big companies they target the big uh, the big shops, whereas the big shops they, they don't have money. The money is at the small shops, you know. <laughs> so the, whenever you start a business, you should first start target the small ones because the small ones they are the ones that they can support you fully. Mm. Yeah. So and the other thing, check your check your products first before you start a business. Check what is scarce around your place. Mm. I can't sell a quarter whereas there's someone who's selling quarters, you know? Because, yeah. and that someone who's selling quarters is using uh, potatoes, the regular potatoes, you know? So what I have to do whenever I want to start a business with quarters, I have to target maybe buy McCain's, you know? Yeah, and that other person is using a meat world Russians, you know? So I should target escort. So mm. you can see the quality there. That is true. You know? Yeah, so whenever I start a business, first check what is scarce around you, then go for it. Most of the people, they target those things that are, are most likely to be, to be targeted the most. Yeah. So what I'm saying, so whenever you want to start a business, check what is in it and how much does it gonna cost you to to build that thing, 
because most of them they want to start something without funds mm. and that's, that's a big that's a, that's the biggest problem so whenever you want to start something check if you got funds and everything so that, that you can that so that you can grow your business very well and favors that's a problem because the other thing that we come across if i have a friend i'm selling uh i'm selling one cup uh two rand no? yes and my friend my friend come to me and say hey man give me that cup with 150. then i said no it's two rand this same friend who gonna go uh to others to other businesses or other shops to buy that cup for uh with the price of four rand you know just because I didn't sell that cup uh, for 150. So you see the problem that you come across whenever we start business. Hmm. So true. whenever you start, so yeah, those are slightly problems that you come across. Hmm. Thank you very so much. I, uh, thank you very much, Biake. So one thing you mentioned it's uh, giving us one of the uh, insights on that marketplace where we should actually head to. You said the big places, the big companies, they don't help much. The small ones are the ones that provide full support. And there yeah. I will agree, I will agree a lot because if I want to buy some potatoes, I want to make chips. If I go to a big company which provides chips, I might order today and get the chips in the next two weeks, which is a problem. If I want to get a, a printing machine for my shirts and I, I go to Alibaba, I I yeah. order there, it can come after three weeks because there's shipping and so forth. So that is very crucial, mm -hmm. very true there. Thank you very you much. I don't know if there's anyone who has a comment or a question in the last four minutes, it's three minutes now. Uh, hello everyone. Greetings, greetings, I, I just have a, a short question here. Yes. Um, you you said that uh, our marketing is the heart of the business. So mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to ask, what if somebody is running uh, a coffee business? How does one advertise the business? They are, they are running a what? A coffin. A coffin, like you're selling coffins. Yes. Okay. How do you advertise a business? Because uh, in in my perspective, uh, I don't think marketing is really the heart of the business. Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, it, it depends on what, what what the services that the business offer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It depends on the services. Uh, that's just that's just my perspective. I stand to be corrected, and with also to to address what Mpiake just said that if you are selling somebody uh, something and they want to buy at a lower price, mm. I think you're no longer in business. If, if, if I want to buy oranges from you and you are selling them at two rand each, then I come with 150, then I, I'm not your customer. That's true. <laughs> people, should, pe people should learn that your, your, your price should be consistent. If you're selling an orange with two, two rands, it should be two rands. Mm. Mm. If I'm giving you an orange with 150 then that's no longer business it's charity mm, that's true that's true because that 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 two rents has been calculated mm, so if, if you are lowering the th thank you but if you're lowering the prices then you're longer in, you're no longer in business you're in charity case you're running a charity case yes 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 I thank you okay because of time i will have to cut you but just to comment on your comment uh saying like um what about if you're selling coffins? Well, where marketing will come in the business of coffins is that if you're selling coffins at Santin and you're selling coffins in Tembisa, the prices can never be the same. So that's where marketing will come in. How, like you study the place, how is Santin? Like how much do I need to sell one coffin in Santin? Uh, and the quality of the coffin. If I go to Tembisa and sell one coffin for 100,000, no one will buy from me. If I go to Santin and sell a coffin for five, um, not even 5,000, for 500, <laughs> people will look at it and say, no, this is not uh, proper. This is not good. So that's where marketing comes in. So because of time, uh, I will have to cut the questions and answers. 
and I thank you for those who have participated. So this week, uh, weekly coffee chats are brought to you by hashtag by force featuring TG marketing, as I told you. So uh, looking at next week. So next week we'll be dealing with so it's the same time, it's from half past seven to around eight. So it's same genre, which is business. So we'll be discussing branding, which is the, like the profile, like we'll discuss it more when we come next week. So I'd like to thank everyone who have made it to the session. Uh, I will thank Mbiake and Theo for participating, Fezile and uh, Five for Beer is a brand also. You will know about it very soon.